What's a summation? A summation is if I was given the sequence, say, a sub n, and then a sub n plus 1, and then a sub n plus 2, and it all got, got up all the way to a sub m. I'm given my sequence that starts at a particular it starts at a particular value and it ends at a particular value. Like let's say I'm going from A5 to A15. So I have A5, A6, A7, A8. So I, I did all those and I have all those numbers or all those objects. A summation is just simply add them. So a summation is AN plus AN plus 1 plus AN plus 2 plus everything up to AM. Normally, I don't like writing that. How can I add? We add, and hopefully we could shorten it down. But on the other hand, I don't like writing that, so we use this notation. Sigma, which means sum, from i equal n to m of a sub i, means that. So examples, what would happen if I summed from say k equal 1 to n of k? What's the sequence? Plug in 1, what do I get? 1. Plug in a 2, what do we get? 2. And a 3, and then I go all the way up to n, and then what do I do with these? I add them. What if I would sum from k equal 1 to n of k squared? What am I adding? Plug a 1 in, what do I get? 1. Plug a 2 in, what do I get? 4. Plug a 3 in, what do I get? 9. And then we go all the way up to n squared. If I looked at it, I would say sum the first n numbers. This says sum the first n squares. Could you shorten that thing down? Everybody know the formula for that? Kind of use this. What if I told you to do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6? What do I notice about 1 and 6? Can I add in any order I want? Yes, property of addition. What's 1 plus 6? 7. What's 5 plus 2? What's 3 plus 4? Hmm, how many 7s do I have? Why do I have 3? Why do I have three pairs? How many numbers are there? Six. Add one to six. That's actually six times seven over two. Right? And so what this will always end up being is the last number, the next number, over two. Next class, we will get all the formulas for k, k squared, k cubed, summing up a geometric, a times r to the k. Um, we'll also do the fact that 0.9999999 to infinity is actually the number one, which will become very important because all of a sudden decimal numbers that repeat, that terminate, actually have two forms, and we'll have to worry about that. All right. Um, actually, here, for your attendance on Monday, find this. And when I mean find it, I mean just don't write it down. Show it. Right? How do you how do you actually sum up the squares? Try to think of a way of doing that.